performing the cardiac physical examination on a pediatric patient. The first step is to establish rapport. You have to introduce yourself and shake the hand of the parents or touch the child lightly. For the general survey, observe for the general appearance of the patient, which includes a sensorium, signs of respiratory distress, activity, consolability, and the overall well-being of the patient. Next is to determine the weight and the height and interpret it using the WHO growth chart to know if the child is wasted, stunted, normal for age, overweight, or obese. Observe for all the vital signs, including the heart rate, BP in all extremities, the oxygen saturation, respiration, and temperature. For the inspection, note for the position of comfort and look for features associated with the genetic syndrome or any sign suggestive of a specific cardiac abnormality. Note for the presence of pallor, cyanosis, or clubbing. Look for signs of aortic insufficiency and check for pulsations in the right internal jugular vein area to check for the jugular venous pressure. Also take note of the pattern of breathing, precordial activity, the presence of precordial bulge or Harrison's groove, and other chest deformities. Also locate the apical impulse and the point of maximal impulse. Confirm the characteristics of the apical impulse with palpation using your finger pads. Also check for the presence of any heave, tap, or thrill. Palpate the pulses in all extremities and note for any irregularities in the rate, rhythm, volume, and character of the pulses. The character and the size of the liver should also be checked. During auscultation, use both the bell and the diaphragm of your stethoscope. The examiner should develop a routine of listening systemically to all components of the cardiac cycle and auscultatory areas. In the different auscultatory areas, look for a murmur and note for the timing if systolic, diastolic, or continuous. the intensity of the murmur and check for any radiation or transmission. After performing a thorough cardiac physical examination, summarize your findings and report in the following manner. 